Hey, hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing and in today's episode we're going to be building a tent for Merakai um, we're going to be building it on the lifelines that we've got running around the wire ones and we're going to make a tent uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use and we're going to get on with it Now, as you know, my boat has got lifelines that go all the way around the outside. So picture this is my boat. I've got lifelines that go pretty much all the way around. At the back, there's a little bit lacking, but we have the mast cross support. So that could be used for our fixing. And then I've also got at the front, I've just got the bow bit, which is don't really need too much. We've got the mast that runs along the middle as well. So we can use the ends of that um, to support it. Now the plan is to use this water pipe, which is pre-bent because it was in a roll but it bends and I've already gone around uh, with the drill bit and just drilled little slots in there so I can slit it into the little wires because um, I think they were like three four probably about four mil so I just slide that in and then just tape around it or something so I normally do and then screw in the middle and I've got um, these thin bits of wood uh, that I just screw into is like a spine that run down the middle so back to my boat imaginary one uh, you'll have a spine running down the middle similar to where the mast is um made up multiple of these and uh, i'll tie them in because the boat's like six and a half meters that best one of these sticks is like two and a half maybe so i can join them in on the blue water pipe and screw two screws in one side by side and so we get a really long spine um and then these are bend down they're quite flexible so they're bending i've already cut them to length um and i tend to do them every about meter meter and a half for example, I've got this piece which screws onto the, um, so this middle one screws onto the spine and these two outer ones screw onto that little cross piece that's on the back of the uh, boat that holds the mast up when we're transporting it. So that screw on and then that allows the uh, tarp to go over the top of that cross thing because otherwise you get holes wearing in it. And these ends are wrapped in duct tape stuff so very soft, very rounded so it won't actually go through the tarp. Now I'm going to show you guys how I make it. Now my weapon of choice is my impact driver. This thing is pretty amazing, um, fairly cheap as well, good price, not like, like one of the Dewalt brands or anything, uh, pretty powerful. I tend to shear things quite a lot if I'm not careful with it. Um, if I use these to zap all of these in and uh, show you that process. I also have this box of very pretty screws. All right, you can see I've joined them up. You probably do with a washer or something, but this this works fine. Double layered and into the wood, nice and solid. Um, and after a little bit of movement and play, so you can adjust it. Um, yeah, so this is it's pretty good. Normally, I just do uh, have one of these undone, so I can lift them up in sections and put them on the boat. Um, so it makes it much easier lifting it on, but this works pretty good. Right, now I'm going to go fit this to the boat and then I'm going to put the tarp over it and I'll do my little tie downs underneath. Now, in my shed I've got this massive tarp hauling. Um, they're very cheap. This one was about 20 quid, 30 quid, something like that. And uh, meant to be heavy duty and it's got tie down points in, well, spread out along the edges and in the corners. So that makes it easy to tie down with just some, some of that blue cheap rope or any rope you've got laying around uh, so you can tie that down. And they come in like loads of different sizes. My boat's six and a half meters. I think this one's maybe 10 meters. Right, so that's it for this episode. Um, we've got the tarp on the boat now, so it's all watertight. 
and water and getting that back compartment so leaves get in it blocks the drain and all of that rubbish um, and it doesn't sag in between so the rain actually falls off instead of collecting in the top if you just hit it straight on the top so that's good and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode where I'll actually start doing projects